A shortage of volunteers is a rising problem for fire departments across the region. It's not only affecting response times, but also making everyday duties harder for those who are working to save lives. Our Sean Rapp joins us with more on what one local fire department is saying about the numbers and what they're asking residents to do. Sean? That's right, guys. The Richland Township Fire Department is one of the bigger fire departments in Cambria County, and even they are looking for help. They say it's more than just a local problem. It's a statewide uh, problem across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania where all volunteer fire organizations are in desperate need of help. A common problem and why many fire departments are reaching out to the community for help. Bob Heffelfinger, Deputy Fire Chief for Richland Township, says his department, like most, are looking for all kinds of help, not just on the front lines. They don't see themselves as being involved in the fire department because maybe they're not ready to ride fire trucks. But my goodness, we all could use their help in the administrative effects. On the administrative side, he says they need help of accountants and attorneys. Many departments are also seeking help with fundraising efforts. We always need people that are willing to come here and spend the time and the labor to make that money, to sustain the fire department's abilities to serve the community. When it comes to helping in the community, Heffelfinger says it's a rewarding job. You really, truly understand the satisfaction of being there and helping people. So if you've ever had the desire for that, I encourage you to at least visit your local fire department talk to those folks and see if there's a good fit for you within that organization. Now, if you're interested in being out on the front lines, Heffelfinger says they offer state-recognized training every Tuesday from 7 to 9 p.m. That's required in order to be out in the field at the emergency response level. Reporting in Richland Township, Sean Rapp, WTAJ News. Thank you, Sean.